Yamaka Riders, Biker Mike here, back out in the Biker Mike shop. Thought I'd make a video on this little repair I made to my Viper. And uh, what I did was fixed up the steering post bracket here to take up all the slop that was in it. And then you can see here after, I'm trying to rock these handlebars back and forth and it's not moving at all so all the slops gone you can see the grease down in there so i'm going to show you how to do all this uh you need to take the hood off obviously if you haven't seen my video on getting access to the spark plugs i got a real quick way to get the hood off and then once you get the hood off you're gonna need a six millimeter t-handle a 10 millimeter t-handle if you haven't got those, that's okay. It just makes the job a little bit easier. You can use 10 millimeter socket, six millimeter socket on an extension. That'll work just fine too. And a T25 Torx bit. So let's get right into this. So I took off the seat and the gas tank shroud thinking that needed to come off, but you don't even have to do that. To get going on this, you're going to need to take the air box out so you can move the steering post over. So to do that, we're just going to move these tools out of the way. There's two T25 Torx bolts up here, so you need to remove those. And then that will get you access just by pulling this rod over out of the way. That'll get you access to the T20 screws down here, holding the front of the air box in. And with the two screws out of the front of the air box, you can take off these three pollution control breather vents. So that one just pops off, put it out of the way. Take this one out and this one. Unhook your intake air temperature sensor. Then get your six millimeter T-handle. If you don't have that, you can use a flathead screwdriver or a six millimeter socket on an extension. And you wanna loosen off the intake boots on the throttle bodies. So with the three intake boots loosened and the three vents pulled out of the air box and the temperature control sensor disconnected, you can remove the air box. Now it is a little tricky to get out, so it takes a little bit of wrestling around and moving these rad lines, but you can get it out. Just pop it off the throttle bodies first and then just Wiggle it out any which way you can get it out of there. Being careful not to break anything, obviously. With the air box up and out of the way now, you can move the steering post over to get the lower bracket off. So 10 millimeter socket up here. Now I've already done this little repair modification, so I'm just taking this apart again to show you guys how to do it. So the next thing you need to do is move your steering post out of the way. So you can just pull up on it and slide it up over this one bolt. It's a little tight, but it can be moved. And once that's out of the way, then you can pull the lower mounting bracket off. Just thought I'd mention, once you got everything apart here, and you can look down inside here. Make sure you have a look at these metal plates here for your steering. Make sure there's no cracks or nothing's broke. Inspect all the steering linkages for wear and just have a look down in there just to make sure everything's all good. And this just mounts together. Now you can see the little locating dowels on the top mounting bracket. So you don't wanna be grinding that one down. So what you want to do is just sand a little bit of this material off so they both fit together tighter around that post. So what I used was a 120 grit 
a belt for a belt sander and I'm not going to sand it right now obviously but I just kind of worked it on there and sanded it down just to take some of that material off so both pieces would fit together a lot tighter around that post and then you just want to take a little bit off this piece too where the throttle cable goes down through so everything mounts up tight and it's not putting any stress on anything. So it's just a process where you got to work at it and then go back to the machine, test fit it, take a little more off, just take a little bit at a time because you don't want to take too much off and make it too tight, but just a little bit at a time. And then once you get the right amount of material taken off, you can put it all back together. And then before you put it all together, you can put a little bit of grease on there or you could even probably use a little bit of motorcycle chain lube and just kind of dribble it down in there as a little maintenance thing to do just to give it a little bit of lubrication to try and prevent some wear now i'm not sure exactly how tight it was right from the factory but there was quite a bit of slop in mine and there's none anymore which should make it a lot less annoying to ride so there you go guys a real quick video on how to take up the slop in your steering post on your Yamaha Viper or the Arctic Cat equivalent. Hopefully you guys like that video. If you like the video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I've got lots of other videos on the Yamaha Viper. Check those out. Let me know what you guys think and take care guys. Hopefully we've got a good riding season coming up. I'm still waiting for snow myself. I got more videos on the Viper planned. Biker Mike out.